My name is Eugene Fleming, and I'm an inventor of a unit called the Hurricane Spray Shield. I'll come by by mistake. Back in 1960, I bought a 60 Chevy, and I kept it for, well, for about five years, and the motor went bad. So I had a little garage in the back of my house, which I lived there in a 3200 block of, at that time called Columbus, Columbus, Columbus Avenue in, in Philadelphia. A uh, little garage in the back of my uh, house, and in the meantime, uh, I took the engine out to, and sent it to a shop to have it rebuilt, and after I had it rebuilt, I came back. And in the meantime, I had the ready air against the wall. It was just so much, it was so crowded, it was just for a one-car garage. I damaged the radiator, and then when I put the motor back in after it was rebuilt, and put the ready in, what I did then, back in those days, the cooling fan I put in backwards instead of sucking the air in, it pushes the air out. So when I put the water in the radiator, this is when I come to me about, oh, hey, look at this. This is water coming out like a hurricane. That's why I named it the Hurricane Spray Shield. So that's where the original idea comes from. Now here is when it could, it, I had it uh, uh, patent, but the patent came officially in uh, November 28, 95, as you see here, and I end up getting a, a design patent. So as you see this unit here, there's two units I have. This one is the original type of fire truck that you have today with the snorkel gun and the, where the uh, firemen are uh, is, is on top. Now, that's fine back at, at the time now when, you know, because of what they have, that's the newest system they have, but with my unit, it's vanished with that unit by, this, by these means. First of all, you got the two men that are up there to operate that, and then they can't get close to the inferno because of the smoke and the heat. But my unit can go right up to the building because it won't worry about the smoke and the heat because of the water that's coming out of it. So that's what I, the reason why I think my idea is not only that, my idea has so many ways to be attached to so many other different vehicles. Another thing with this one will take, like I said, take advantage of over the uh, uh, two farm and it has to be up there because of the smoke and the heat. And this unit here will be operated with remote control. So that'll be another uh, uh, advantage over that. So. Well, you remember the water is coming out and it's coming out at a great force. Now, i tell you one thing I do, I also recognize that I'm gonna have to do is an additional thing that has to be done once I build this unit is because in the winter time, the water won't come out because it'll freeze up. So in the meantime, I added a heating system to keep the water to a certain temperature so it doesn't freeze when it's being blowed out. But like I said, and then there's another great opportunity with this compared to that. This goes right up to the development. So that shows it shortens the distance so that water doesn't get any contact with the air. That's like, for instance, down on the farm and out there, that the water can get distorted by high air pressure and throwing it away from where they're trying to fight the inferno. Mr. Fleming, explain to me how this works then. I mean, I'm looking at it, so. Well, like I say, this is like a ready air in an automobile, mm -hmm. okay? Although the automobile had the cores in it, but knowing that I couldn't construct the cores, I had to use this two-inch pipe, and then I drill these holes in on the other side, as you can see, uh, I also had to find out after I drilled the holes, the water that came in was, wasn't filtered, so then it would stop up and then stuff got stuff. So I had to put, uh, down here, I had to put drain, like drain plugs, like you could have on the automobile. Okay, okay, so knowing that I couldn't, uh, 
use of the regular accords that the, the, the uh, engineering school, the automobile industry used. I had to use it. Two inch piping, fill these holes, hook it up here to the tank itself and everything. And then I had the uh, this fan and everything. Throw the fan over it. So that was able to uh, disperse the water. And, uh, at first I had this down here. And of course the uh, of course the kick in the hose so the water came poorly out. And it came out poorly. It came out about five feet. But when I turned the fan on it went out to twenty five feet. Okay. So now <coughs> what happened is <coughs> I had to I had to change it so that the, the, once I changed that and put it up here instead of back here and it would better have more water it would come out further because the, the, the hose was no longer kink. So that's where I had to make it go there and okay. Now this is uh, I think it's uh, three inches. These are uh, uh, two inches of diameter. This is like I said this is the uh, tank itself so that the water can disperse out of each and every one of one, two, three, four, five. Now, we got to uh, make it now. Uh, it may have to be a little bit constructed smaller once I put it in because it, uh, yeah, basically I think the front of the uh, power truck is somewhere between seven and eight uh, feet uh, wide. And that might have to use a smaller unit, and that have, all that has to be determined once I get it through the uh, Once I get this unit here, that will determine how big this unit is going to be. It may, like I said, I might have to reduce it in size because this is a. Uh, it can't be no wider than the truck because the truck has to go down the street and it has to go in and out of places.